that I don't like the crossfade. You want to hit? Maybe later. <laughs> you know, Independence Day should actually be July 2nd. That's the day the Continental Congress decided to break from England. Well, yeah, but didn't they also formally adopt the Declaration on Fourth of July? Okay, if you want to go that way, then the Declaration wasn't signed until August 2nd, so technically August 2nd would be Independence Day. So what you're telling me is that the tomorrow is not the Fourth of July. Well, it is the Fourth, but not the Fourth. If you're done with John Adams. Ooh. May the Fourth be with you. I am declaring my own Independence Day, independence from parents and teachers and school and everything. Do you ever feel like that? Maybe when I was your age. Okay, you're three months older than me. <laughs> Look at that. What? There's no way that's a comet or a meteor. It's moving too slow. Hey, what are you doing? That's my song. There has to be something about this online. Well, yeah, everyone in Cumberland is posting about it. it. Must be like a missile test or something. No, that's DC. There's no way they're testing missiles over there. Vermont yet? They just landed, sir. Good. I want to report when they're in a secure position. Yes, Mr. President. Have they said anything new? Same thing. They want it back. Are you sure your translation's right? Sir, this comes direct from the asset. We'll be in position shortly, sir. Sorry to keep you in the dark, Smith, but I need you focused on deciphering that thing. Is everything in order? It is, sir. The rocket is ready to launch, waiting on your command. commercial sites. The Pentagon has to know what this is. Good luck getting any info from them. I know a back way in. Cool. It's encrypted from within their site. Let me see. Just override the digital certificate. No, that's not gonna work. I got this. Okay, and here we go. Everybody's on high alert, but nobody's saying what it is. What's that? They launched a missile. I've got the nose camera on screen now. I can tell you one thing, Mr. President. You're about to see the biggest gosh dang fireworks show you've ever seen. Next message we get from those boogers, if we get one at all, will be a SOS. If, of course, Colonel Smith can translate that information. I can handle it. Are we in war? Whoa. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Come on. You getting off this? Yeah. 15 seconds to impact, sir. Visuals lost with the missile, sir. Sir, we have picked up the signature of the object again. What do you mean? It's moving towards us. Which direction is it headed? Washington, D.C. And, sir, we picked up the transmission again. 
Same message as before. The one we decoded? Yes. It's identical. They want it back. Air Force One is too big a target. So we'll go with Marine One. Standing by, sir. That's not what I think it is. Is it Colonel Smith? Sir, this is the device. I thought it was on the way to Lake Groom. It was, but we've had a new development. If that's what's been bringing him here, maybe it isn't wise to be toting it around. The case shields it from all spectrum interference. Detection should be impossible. If it is impossible to detect, then what was it that brought him here in the first place? Sir, it wasn't in case when we first obtained the device. We only did that when we discovered it was transmitting information. You were at that briefing, sir. Colonel, what is the new development? In layman's terms, the arrival today has caused a change in the device's operational status. Spit it out, Colonel. The device is now active. flight plans. We need to visit the asset. It might be our only chance to get on top of this. Mr. President, it's a quick diversion on the way to Raven Rock. I agree with the Colonel. Okay. Destination, Mr. President? A bunker 45 on the outskirts. Copy that, Colonel. We'll be there in 20 minutes. Buckle up. We're waiting for the all-clear command from air control. Mr. President, we brought in a device when they made contact. Despite the full spectrum shielding, we did notice some activity that coincided with their arrival. So what you're saying is, not only do we have a threat from above, but their doomsday device could initiate its final sequence at any moment? Sir, I wouldn't exactly characterize it as a doomsday device. This device that you're carrying, Colonel, has the capability of ending our world as we know it, if it hasn't already, by bringing a full-scale extraterrestrial invasion. So don't tell me it's not a doomsday device, Carl. Yes, sir. This is why we're going to see the asset. No one has more knowledge of its working, sir. What are we waiting for, then? Let's go. We're waiting for the confirmation on the clear airspace, Mr. President. Copy that, General. President, Air Traffic Command has issued a no-fly zone over D.C. until it's all clear. That's a direct order. Copy that, Mr. President. Just to use it. Now! Wait, wait, wait! Guys! No, 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 this way! I'll take you. I gotta get back home. 
too. Okay, well, we'll see you. Okay. He has Paige with him. Okay, we'll drop her off at home. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pick up Luke, we'll go to the mountains and stay at the cabin by the lake. I think we're being invaded. Hey, you better call your parents. What about you? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. They're not even in the country. They're in France on some holiday for like a month. Wait, so you're alone? Well, I have the maid during the day, but... No, why don't you come to my house? Your parents don't exactly like me. Shut up. They like you. Better get that. Mom. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't answer. Yes, I saw it. I'm, I'm coming home. We'll be there in 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. Love you. They're coming to the church to pick us up. We got the first lady on the blind, Mr. President. What are you and the little one to know? We are the harm's way. We got out. A convoy is on its way to pick you up to take you to Raven Rock. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, of course I want to be with you. But that can't happen right now. We'll be there soon. No, no, you, you have to stay where you are. This doesn't make any sense. What? They're saying the U.S. Capitol is gone? I don't know, everyone's freaking out. The whole military's going into action. What's wrong? I just lost signal. And me too. D does anybody have service? Check her status. They can't get a clear shot with that thing on our tail. We have to do something. Hang on, we're going low. Stop! 
right there! Don't shoot! We're, we're Americans! Stay where you are! They're kids. Now for service. Luke is supposed to be here. Where is he? Don't worry, we'll find him. Let's uh, let's head towards the park. I've never seen Main Street so deserted. The new arrival must have scared a lot of people. Acting crazy because they're scared, right? We want nothing more to happen. Working together, that's how we're gonna do this, okay? Okay. Oh my god, Patrick, stop. safe. It has to be done, okay? So go back to the truck and I'll be there in a minute. No. If you want to act like an idiot, someone has to watch your back. Okay. 
If one of those things come close, you pump a bull of lead, all right? There. There's seven rounds in there. Another seven here. Okay, if things go down, you keep firing, you get back to the truck. Okay. Okay? You can't stop, sir. I need a break. What's the status on that? I don't have an answer now. Excuse me? You're Ethan Draper, our president. Sure looks like him, doesn't he? He's a decoy. We've got dozens of lookalikes running around. It's a tactic to confuse enemies. I'm not buying that. It doesn't matter if you buy it. Oh, so then you're just some fake decoy military officer? And the guy back there that got killed, he's a decoy as well. I hope his pay is good. Enough. I'm the president. Is someone gonna tell us what's going on? Who is attacking us? Is are, are we a war? I... They're aliens, aren't they? Thank you for your bravery. Most people wouldn't fault you for running in the other direction when they see a helicopter crash. But you came to our aid. And I want to thank you. According to our last position, we aren't far from our objective here. Until we have an extraction point, we continue moving forward. We don't have a choice. We'll need communication. Do you guys have a phone? 
Uh, I have mine, but none of our phones are working. We have to figure out another way. Uh, I do have a mesh network. It's a, a network that's off the cellular grid. Electronics can work in proximity, but only with others that are on the network. We use it to talk to each other sometimes. I built it in ninth grade. I helped. We built it together. Rigged up all the transmitters. This could help. Tell me more about your setup. Okay. How are we gonna do that from here? Look, I need you to breathe. Breathe, okay? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take care of your leg, and then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do next, okay? We need to find Luke. Right? If he's out in this, he's gonna he's gonna find some place to lay down low. Okay. Under here. Welcome, Paige. How wide of an area did you say your mesh network covered? Um, a, a good three miles. Two. Mr. President, I think their mesh network could be useful in establishing a lot of communication. Good idea. You both been very brave here today. Braver than most. People like you are the reason I ran for office. Get out of here! Get down! Mr. President, stay with the briefcase. I'll back up.
change. Wait, there is something. Looks like it tried to deactivate it. Did it work? No. Something's happening to it, but it's not deactivated. What is it? We need to get to the asset ASAP. Come on, let's double time. Some assistance, ma'am. Oh, you're the president. Mr. President, it's an honor to serve yeah, you, sir. Let's get inside. Take a seat over here. I'm fine, sir. Uh, uh, Mr. President. <laughs> Those, uh, those things out there, Mr. President? I think from uh, up there? Six years ago. During the term of my predecessor. Mr. President. We received first contact of a being from another planet. You mean aliens? That's right. Six years? You've been hiding this for six years? I wasn't given the intel until I took office. This being was a refugee from a distant world. It was injured, but we brought it back. This refugee told us he was an engineer. Wait, it, it spoke English? It knew how to communicate with us. It seemed to know everything about us. The engineer told us its world had been taken over by warmongers. Their leaders, irrational and full of hate. What do they want with us? The engineer is part of a program to build a device that would dominate the universe. A briefcase right there. One the aliens would try to steal. It's part of this, isn't it? What is in there? Classified. That's what the alien refugee gave us. Alien technology. Probably the most powerful in the universe. And the only one in existence. And they want it back. I think that's enough information, sir. Mr. President, how did you end up on the edge of the city? We fell from above. And thankfully, your son and his friend here found us. 
How are you, ma'am? How are you? I'm okay. Didn't hit an artery. It's sustainable for now, but it's not gonna be for long. Can I take a look? Look, you don't need to see this. It's okay, you can see it. That bit of metal. Oh. We need to get you somewhere with some first aid supplies. You're a vet, right? Marine Corps, 22 years. What's your MOS? Marine Raider, Reconnaissance Corpsman. Patrick, glad to have you with us. Right now we're on our own. Our land is hostile territory. The President and I got shot down on our way to a top secret location nearby. You need to get first aid supplies and your family to safe cover. That syncs with our current objective, so we will accompany you there and then be on our way. Colonel, Mr. President, it'd be my honor to serve you, but my duty is towards my family first. Son, I wouldn't have it any other way. And what may I ask is your objective? Your house. What? We need to access your mesh network. Your what? It's a network it, it's, it's set up for uh, emergency times. And this is at my house? Uh, in the vicinity. Uh, Luke here pointed us the way. N now, if it's still operational, we like to put it to use. Yeah, okay, whatever, whatever you need. Okay, let's go. through the woods. It comes through at Fairview gas station. Okay. <laughs> no. Let's see if we can find some painkillers, okay? <laughs> Must 
be the weak spot. Uh, I tried stabbing one back at the bar, and that was the only place I could penetrate. Oh, ah! I'm, I'm fine. Let me get you home. Colonel, we need to get her home and take care of that leg. Copy that. You got whatever meds you need? We gotta get off this road, guys. We're too exposed. Network. Okay. Does it need power? Okay. Just relax. Breathe. 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 Lay back. Lay back. Lay back. Just breathe. Relax. Be strong. Okay. Now go upstairs and get the rest of the ammo. Okay. Right. Breathe for me. Okay. Breathe. Relax. Breathe. spots up on it now. It goes nearly to the point, but people keep stealing our setups over there, so we've kept it close. Can you hook it up to your laptop? Yeah. Do you have one on you? Yeah. Do it. Let me know when it's done. Okay, breathe. Right? Hey, Rachel, how are you feeling? This will be quick. Mom's gonna be fine. How's everything on your end? Um, the network's up. Connections are shaky, but we're good. Okay, let's get this set up. The original internet was military, you know that? Urbanet. We gave it away, but we kept something for ourselves. We maintain an alternate internet over high band radio frequency. Thanks to your mesh network, we're accessing it right now. Mr. President, we need to figure out an extraction point. I'll tap into two-way radio comms. This is Eagle One. I repeat, this is Eagle One. Please respond. Mr. President, will you keep an eye on that? Patrick, let's go check on your wife's room. This is Eagle One. Over. Can I 
gonna take a look? Yeah. <sighs> okay, if it starts bleeding again, let me know, but it looks good. Painful, but we're lucky it didn't hit an artery. Thank you. Mom is one tough cookie, Luke. I see where you got your moxie. You should get something to eat from the kitchen. I know you're hungry. Thank you. We made quite a spread for the 4th of July. <laughs> it would be a shame for it to go to waste. You do tech for the army? My team decoded the language with the help of a classified source. We were just starting to understand the software when they showed up. Is it a linear binary code? Who's the classified source? It's classified. Device is connecting to a mesh network. What? It looks like a duplicate operating system. Like they made an off device copy, but it's connecting. can't stay here. No, not that. I have to try this. Wait, wait, wait. Slow down. That looks like some kind of an initiation code. That's a trigger. Don't touch that. It's not a trigger. It is something else. Do you see that? It's an alphanumeric code. We can disable this thing? Let's do it together. system, they left a link open. It was still connected and it let us back in. And you thought it would be a good idea to touch any of it? What if that accidentally triggers it? We didn't trigger anything. It's a manual trigger. We didn't touch that. You were about to be in a world of hurt. You have no idea what you saw.
more coming. Three more ammo.
can fix this. Stop it. If we don't stop this, then who will? Stop! We don't have a lot of time. You need to tell me what you did. It's linear coding. It's an alphanumeric sequence. Tell us what it does and we'll tell you. We don't have the time for this. You two made the situation exponentially worse. You need to tell me what you did now. Colonel, ma'am, you and the president haven't been straight with us since we met. You hid this from the American people. We need to know what this is and what we're dealing with, and then we can help. Otherwise, you can go on your own. We don't have much time. From what we've gathered, it's an antimatter generator. Antimatter and matter destroy each other, turning into pure energy. It's many times more powerful than even a hydrogen bomb. Then what is this? It's a countdown. for now, but no guarantee when they'll come back. Luke, give me that relay backup. Fireworks react with their armor. I think it's the potassium nitrate. Uh, potassium nitrate is an oxidizer in basic gunpowder. It's highly reactive. Copy you, Evil One. See you in a secure location. We're tied down out here. I'll have to get back to you with an ETA for extraction. You hang tight, over. Copy, Captain. Standing by. And Captain, be advised, their armor reacts to potassium nitrate. Potassium nitrate. Do you copy? Over. Copy that. We'll spread the word. Over. What's that, Colonel? Sir, I'm sorry to report. The device is now armed. I can fix this. Wait, look, you did this? We did this together. Can I leave you alone for one minute armed. ago and you- What do you mean armed? It's a, a countdown. A countdown to what? It's a bomb. How much time do we have? Less than an hour. An hour? Less than one hour. You have to stop this. Calm down. That's what we're working on right now. Your son and his friend here will have to come with us. Where are you going? To see the asset. Patrick, is that your truck outside? Yeah. We're going to need it. Why? 
We don't want to startle him. It's a who? Call him L. Okay. Okay, you guys, you guys stay back. Does it speak? Rudimentary, but we've rigged a translator to its armor. Al, this is the President of the United States. If you don't know already, you're kinder here now. They're coming for the device you gave us. We need your help. We need your help stopping them. Can they even hear us? That's why we brought it to you. We want to turn it off. It cannot be done. You are the expert in this thing. There must be some way to turn it off. You shouldn't have taken the device from me. I brought it here to destroy it. Al, that's why we took it from you. You, you brought a weapon to our planet. What do you expect us to do? Your people turned on the device. That's what sent out the beacon. That's what brought them here. Maybe you should have given us some type of warning. I did warn you, Mr. President. I communicated with your scientists. I communicated with your Colonel Smith. I told you everything I know about the device and what it was designed to do. I warned you that we must all work together to dismantle it. And most of all, that it should never be turned on. Excuse me, hey, hey, Al. Hey, hey. We didn't mean to activate it. It was connecting to our network on its own. We didn't mean to start it. We were just trying to take it out. Can it be deactivated? It cannot. Once the countdown has begun, there is no stopping it. You're certain of this? That is correct. I designed the timer that links to the trigger. It's a complicated device. Each of us designed a small section of its development. It was designed in such a way, in small sections, that no single individual could create the whole device or deactivate it. There must be something. Something you must know to help us. Something you may realize that is important. I need your help. It is too late. It cannot be stopped. Better for your planet to be destroyed than to give it to them. Al. Al. Help us to stop this. Better for your planet to be destroyed than to give it to them. Colonel 
We need to get out of here. We can't go back to the house now. They know where it is. I got an idea. It doesn't matter where we are. When this thing goes off, it'll take out everyone. The only way to stop them is use it against them. Can't you strap it to a missile or something? Shoot it at the mothership? Try it then. So that's it? It didn't work? Ma'am, we're not giving up. Please, can we just focus on figuring out how to deactivate the device? We don't have to deactivate it. We can use it against them. We've tried that. No, Mr. President, listen, please. Rachel and I saw a way to get to the mothership. Right, when we first encountered them, we, we, they, we saw them using some kind of vice that beamed them back and forth to their ship. I took part of it off to disable it. I thought it might slow the invasion. Maybe we can beam it back up to them. Ugh. Easy, easy. You remember how they worked it? Yes, sir. Absolutely. I saw how they did it. I saw their interface. Had a bunch of symbols. Maybe together we can make it work. Yeah, but isn't it dangerous that the bombs will be exploding that close to the Earth? What other option do we have? <sighs> person takes on the White House to make a difference. You hope for that defining moment when the world is on the brink and that you'll make that right decision. No president can ever imagine this problem. No president can ever want this trouble. But here it is. And it's not me who's going to save the world. It's all of us. It's up to us. Maybe the last best hope humanity has. No one can do it for us. Let's make the world proud. Let's go kill these suckers. We're going to be in serious trouble if we run into them. We need to get more. Uh, I still have these. I know bottle rockets are kind of lame, but better than nothing, right? Thanks. We'll be safer here than out in the open. Look, we'll be back in a jiffy. I'm right? coming with you. No, no, you got the weapons here. I want you to stay here and we're back. Okay? I want us to be together. Listen, there's no point in separating now. I'm the commander in chief, and I'm giving an executive order. We're all staying together, and that's that. Well, if that's an order. It's a direct order, soldier. You go up front with the device. Yes, It's a 
up this way. We have to hurry. How much time do we have? Minutes. back here. disabled it, I didn't actually take the part with me. But we can find it. Just, it's in those woods somewhere. I threw it down there. We're running out of time. Okay, well, let's go. You know how to use this, right? Okay. coming through. I'm inside. Oh, you, you won't be able to get back. Maybe not. Okay, well, I'm going. Show me how to do it. We only get one shot at this. I'll go. It's my responsibility. No, Mr. President, somebody has to restart this country when this is all over. It has to be me. Luke, show me how to do it. No. There has to be another way. Let me do this. You are not going up there. Mom, I need to fix this. I am not letting you go. I, I can bring you back. I can spin up. This is not... Happening. We're running out of time. I'll go. And I'll go with you. Luke, show me how to set it off. Luke, please. Please. No. Okay. We're coming back. Okay? Okay. 
Mr. President.